what is important about having public art in a community like Silver Spring is that particularly in, in our Silver Spring community, art is life. Many years ago, people got together and saw that the area did indeed need an intentional, focused way of bringing back some of the vitality, some of the energy that had existed decades ago. Public art has the power to change the community in that um, a lot of downtrodden communities have uh, started a process of revitalization where the arts act as basically an impetus where they are bringing in um, not only public art but performing arts and literary arts and different um, means to um, attract businesses in. Um, it really reinvigorates property values. Um, uh, it makes it better um, culturally for the people so that they have um, some means of entertainment. About 10 years ago uh, we acted started uh, revitalizing. We only had 13 pieces of public art and now we have nearly 50 pieces of public art. It's become more vibrant. It's become more vibrant in terms of businesses, it's become more vibrant in terms of citizen uh, involvement, it's become more vibrant in terms of opportunities, whether they're artistic opportunities or uh, civic opportunities. Um, it's become more respected within the general Washington area. So I think there's been a very positive uh, change in many, many ways in, in the Silver Spring community. When, a, you know, there's been studies done that when a community is treated with respect in terms of buildings being kept up and parks being kept up, people treat the community better. So there's an interrelationship. There's also been studies that show that when you have art on a wall, it's less likely to attract graffiti. Graffiti is goes to a blank wall. Now, public art takes many forms. We have the Fillmore, we have AFI. Those are sort of public art type of installations, and then we have the static public art, like my piece. But I think it all creates um, an image of a community that is vibrant and artistic and desirable for people to come to. Uh, in Silver Spring right now, one of the things that we're concentrating on with our public art is conservation of the art itself. Um, a lot of the pieces are starting to get older, and uh, they, as everyone does, needs a little touch-up occasionally. Um, so just a year or so ago, we started to, um, there's a mural called Penguin Rush Hour by Sally Calmer that was out by the Silver Spring Metro. Uh, and that is one of Silver Spring's most beloved pieces. And the penguin is the unofficial mascot of Silver Spring. And the reason that is, is because of that mural. And that piece had started to deteriorate because it is a mural um, acrylic on wood panels. And any kind of mural outdoors doesn't last for very long. So we asked the community to um, contribute funds so that we could restore the piece. And how we did that was we, during the Thanksgiving parade, went around in penguin costumes with buckets and asked them to contribute pennies. And we have recently refurbished that piece. It's going in again uh, when the new metro station is built. What is the most rewarding part of creating public art? I think the idea that I put this up now five years ago, it's still there, it's still beautiful, people see it every day. It is really a part of the fabric of the community as opposed to gallery shows where a show goes up for three or four weeks and then it comes down. So it's, um, it's the permanence and the fact that it is uh, very much a part of the community in a way that the other kind of art is not. Art, art continues to be, not a big part, continues to be what weaves all those communities together. I think it's more about identity. Um, for example, Silver Springs an arts and entertainment district, which means that we have a concentration of um, arts organizations and performance venues and restaurants and entertainment things. And so when you come into Silver Spring, like if you look around, you know it's an arts district because there's plenty of public art uh, around. Um, and I think that it's a, a way to uh, for the community to say, yes, this is my community and I'm proud of it and look at what we have and it's a beautiful place and it's a, something my kids will play in or on or around and um, it's art that's there to enjoy every day.
absolutely do have a favorite piece of public art, but I'm not sharing it. Did you have other questions you need to ask me, or I can just talk about whatever I feel like? <laughs> what would be my vision for the future of Silver Spring? I'd like it to be more like Paris, France. <laughs>